yo what is up you guys welcome back to another 60 overall grind video in this video i'll be showing you guys how to get shooting badges easier in my new method so you can be shooting the ball and greening up like me at the park and the first thing you want to do is get focus drills with whatever my player you want to get more shooting badges on so here i have my 60 something pure scratch for that i use only for my career video purposes so you want to go into team practice after any game and you want to do these simple stuff. See, this is, about, this is my first game with him, so you're just going to see the little message where it says, Welcome to team practice. So I'm just showing you that it's not a guy I've been playing on a lot. So you won't think that it takes a long time to get focus drills. Now, with this player, I don't know. Like, it's taking a little bit longer with him. So I'm going to just, like, show you guys the exact method to do it. I don't know why I didn't skip this loading time, but I'm loading into the team practice facility. And when he walks in, you're going to see this big message pop up. Like, Welcome to the team practice facility, da, 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 da. And what you want to do is, as soon as that you dismiss the message or whatever, it's going to get ready to call you for a team practice. So I'm going to speed that up a little bit. So I, I might walk around a little bit, speed that up to where they, the coach can go ahead and call you to the team practice. And once he calls you to the team practice, do not participate in any of the team practice drills because you don't get any badge progress for them really and they're just a waste of time just to my career does a lot of things that are just time consuming that you think are rewarding but they're not but you just go in there exit out immediately go to the next game and then play the game you have to play the game because you try to like go in the game and sim out it won't let you go to another team practice so you just turn the uh, my career on as less minutes as possible play that game and then go right back to the team practice and do the same exact thing over and over again until you finally get the focus drills, bro. And I'm gonna show you why it's so important that you get focus drills in order to, you know, capitalize on getting all your shooting badges. But so you see me walking in, doing the same exact thing, fast forward it so you won't have to wait on the coach to call. Well, you're not gonna be able to fast forward when you're playing, but you know, so you guys won't see me just sitting here standing looking stupid. but fast forward into where the coach can call me up for practice and all you have to do bro is like when he, as soon as he's calling y'all like just press start and click yes so you can exit out it's going to count this as like you just participated in the, in the entire practice bro so just keep doing that until you finally get those focus drills but i'm going to go ahead and get into how i get my shooting badges in my career bro i'm playing with my point guard my slash and playmaker this is when he was like before i brought him to the park for the first time and since they've like patched the the play call glitch where you hit l1 r1 and call for the screen and the guy backs off you they kind of get you wide open when you just set a regular screen and roll or a screen and fade you can just like run around the screen but if that doesn't work out bro you can just shoot the easy pull up jumpers bro you can just run down there and shoot it but even if you white they go in bro i promise you and it's not it doesn't cost that much to upgrade your three and mid range, bro. So you can do it with low overalls. And you see how wide open I got off that pick? That's what I'm talking about now. You get super wide open off that pick. And what you have to do, though, to be able to hit those shots around that pick with that space that they give you, make sure the first badge upgrade you do is go quick draw, bro. So you're able to not get defended when you're taking those open shots. Because you don't have go quick draw, you're going to get contested, bro. But as you guys can see, man, once you call the screen, if they get close to you, you can just run around them and shoot the pull up. They get close to you, you run around them and shoot the pull up. If they're not close to you, stop and shoot the three. Because the the amount of pull ups you're gonna shoot is gonna accumulate so much badge progress, bro. Even though there are two pointers and threes, you know, count for more than twos on badge progress. It's just you're gonna be shooting so many wide open twos that it's just gonna have to give you a lot of badge progress on shooting, bro. And I got my shooting badges so fast on this player doing this, bro. Just shoot as many pull ups. I don't care about assists. I don't care about you know dunking the ball or anything like that bro just go down there and you shoot and you shoot and you shoot and then you shoot because the only way to really get a bunch of finish i'm not finished but a bunch of shooting bad progress is to completely solely focus on shooting bro if you're focusing on anything else bro you're not going to get that much shooting bad progress because i promise you i maxed out all my dudes other things before shooting and as you can see i'm not even playing that many minutes bro i have 23 points 10 for 10 on field goals, 3 for 3 from uh, 3 pointers. Only play 8 minutes, bro. Only play 8 minutes. That's an 8 minute. That's a lot of badge progress right there in only 8 minutes, bro. I'm playing on 5 minute quarters as usual. We ain't got to use. It's, a, it's about playing as many games as possible. It's not about playing those long games where you score like 100 points and stuff like that to get badge progress, bro, because those takes too long. I can play 3 games and get like 6,000 apiece 
of Bass progress before you complete one of those 12 minute quarterly games, bro. So play on five minutes and just spam what I'm doing right now, bro. You can even, and once you get up by 25, bro, you can play w one or two quarters, brother. If you can get up by 25 in the first quarter, they'll let you send out with VC, bro. But if you get up by 25, you can send out and immediately go into the next game, bro. Especially if you're having a game like I was having where I had 23 points in like eight minutes. So you can do that. But here, here I am. I have 41 points. I think I sent out of this game. Got 5,000 badge progress on that game in a game where I didn't play the full game and I simmed out and I scored 41 points. But I don't know how many field goals I made exactly because I didn't go back and check the screen. But I'm going to check it more often while I'm uh going through this video. But here I am playing the 76ers again. Same old, same old, bro. Run around them and shoot the midi. Shoot that mid range. Every time they, they playing you close and you can't get the open three, just run around them, shoot the pull up, bro. It's going to work every time, bro. Your player's going to start greeting them. Even if he's whiting, he's going to make the shot. It's a, such an easy shot that it's going to go in, bro. No matter if you have your attribute of them, if you have difficult shots or whatever, bro, you're going to be able to make it, bro. See, I'm whiting and it's going in. Even when I white the shot, it goes in, bro. It's so simple, man. And when they call you call that screen, they, they playing you close, run around them, shoot the pull up, green. And you get like you get so much bad progress, bro. And it's like it helps you get your shot timing down too, bro. You can add the pull up jumper to your arsenal because I don't see too many people shoot a lot of uh, off dribble shots this year as opposed to any other year. So doing this method can also help you become a better off dribble shooter because I love to shoot off dribble when I'm playing with guards. I even shoot off dribble with my big man at times. But playing with a guard is so key. To have the all dribble shot of your arsenal if you have like a that type of player like a slash and playmaker or anybody that can you know make the all dribble shot i see a lot of people choose the shot creator bads but they don't really shoot all dribble so it's a good shot to have in your arsenal especially when you're you have guys sitting in the paint defending you and you can't you can't make the pass out because your guys your uh, teammate is guarded or you can go to the goal and try because there's a nigga in the paint so you can shoot the pull up it's simple bro so good to have that shot in your arsenal man i swear shooting so many shots on in my career has helped me become a better off dribble shooter because i shoot about almost 20 shots a game primarily all dribble so you're going to get better at shooting all dribble but here's another example i was playing the uh the end uh, not the indiana pace i am the indiana pace i was playing the Denver nuggets and in this game i was like it was like in the fourth quarter i just started just going crazy with the pull-ups bro and it's just showing you how you can get so many shots off in such a short amount of time. It's always like three minutes left in this game. And I just started getting a bunch of shots. So I think I ended this game with almost like 50 points. And I have like 39 right now. So you're just going to see me just just spamming it. Just going just going crazy, bro. I don't even know how I made it to the fourth quarter in this game. I don't know why I didn't sim out. But I was just, I guess I didn't have anything to do. And I was just playing my career. And I have been trying to, you know, do more 60 overall grind videos and stuff. I'm trying to get a lot of more my career content because they all seem to really mess with the my career videos as opposed to any of my other videos on my channel so i'm just trying to make sure i get like a bunch of my career content so that's the reason why i probably stayed in this game into the fourth quarter and i'm glad i did because i started like i said i started going ballistic with the all dribble shots getting so much bad progress every time i get a rebound and running down there you know always keep your hand on that l1 button to call those screens in because that really spaces the floor call that screen and fade no matter if you're trying to hit the guy out that's screening or not you just always call that play to create space. It creates space at the floor. If you don't have space, you can't do anything in my career, especially when they start double teaming and stuff. But see, I just rip Jokic. I'm like, as soon as I pick the ball up, I'm gonna shoot again. Like, <laughs> shoot every shot, bro. Don't ever have the ball in, in, in another teammate's hands. Always have the ball in your hand. You make all the decisions on your my career, bro. You're not trying to be friendly and and you know give anybody else the ball or try to play it realistic when, when it comes to badge grinding you have to grind badger bro you have to throw all the realism out the way like i know when i play on other guys who i'm trying to get like all my badges on i might make it a little realistic not so it won't be so boring but when you're trying to get those shooting badges bro you can't mess around bro. you have to play like a wild man to get those shooting badges i've did a bunch of videos on like finishing and and uh playmaking and defensive and stuff and it's pretty like you know it's pretty straightforward with the defensive and playmaking and shooting and they have like it's a lot of easier methods and you have to be like you have to have your overall up a little bit to get your shooting badges in a uh, timely fashion so that's why i didn't really include much shooting badge stuff in my older videos because i really didn't have the guy uh, a player that could 
you know, show you guys at a low overall, they can show you guys how to get them. My glass can lockdown was like maxed out, and that defeats the purpose of showing you guys how to go out on low overall. If I'm showing you guys that I have a maxed out badge, you know, glass can lock hitting all his threes because he's gonna do that. He has max badges, he's not earning badge progress, so I can't show you guys like what badge progress he's getting after the game. So I had to, you know, get on my side's playmaker who doesn't have his badges maxed out, and I'm showing you guys. He's getting a bunch of badge progress, bro. After, and they, um, these games are coming fast. These are all in the same day, bro. Like, not taking that much time. Probably, like, I'm playing, like, three games an hour or so. So, yeah, that's uh, and that's a lot. But here is the reason why you need to get your focus drills, bro. So, once you get your focus drills, you can just go in there, you press circle, and you go to free throw call in order to get. That's the easiest drill to uh, get 750. The 750 is the max you can get on badge progress when doing the focus drills now if you have a player that you've been working on a lot and you've been having for a while you're going to have focus drills already but if you're trying to start a new player and grind the shooting badges do what i did in the beginning in order to get your, your focus drills faster but yeah this is what you this is the drill you want to do you want to do free throw goals i think you need six to score 16 in order to get three stars you see i barely got three stars right there so i'm gonna show you guys how to get three stars every time if you're shooting with your shot meter off it's going to be very hard to green your free throws, especially with a low overall. My free throw was like 55 right here, so I couldn't really hit anything with my meter off. And you're going to see the ama uh, I say amazing, amazing difference in the way he shoots the ball when the shot meter on. He's just going to green every single free throw. I don't think I'm green every single one, but you get what I'm saying. He's going to start greening so many free throws. and so Because you, you don't want to be wasting practices, bro, in there going, getting one and two stars when you can get 750 from uh, getting three stars. You don't want, you ever want to waste your time not getting much bad progress in practice. Because pra practice can be time consuming, you know, with all the different load times, you know, as soon as you got the game, you got to go in the practice facility. You got to press circle. You got to wait for the drill to start. You got to get out of practice and go to the next game. So you want to make sure you hit three stars every time. You go in there, you hitting one star and two star. That sucks, bro. But here's another reason why you want to go to Soltz, uh uh, do the focus drills and team practice because you can sometimes hit the legend practices and once you get a legend practice you get times three on your uh, badge progress at the end of the drill so it'll be like 750 times three and you'll get that amount of badge progress so I think this is one of the uh, times that I was in there just shoot my free throws and I had a uh, legend practice so you want to always you want to say NBA uh, press NBA legend you always go to practice bro and finish out your finish your shooting drills and get your shooting badge because that's the way, that's the way they're gonna come easy. But here I am, I'm gonna show you guys how I went from only having seven shooting badges in like the span of like two days to having max shooting badges. I have max shooting badges now, bro. On my uh, on my slash and playmaker, now I have max badges across the board. He's ready to go. I've been in the park just you know killing with him, bro. I'm having a good time in the park. I hit elite, so I do have a video coming soon showing you guys me hitting elite. A lot more point guard gameplay. I mean, I have a bunch of gameplay on my guard now, so I can just, you know, give you guys a bunch of videos. You guys want to be see, see guard play? Guard play is coming. But this is the end of this video, bro. I appreciate, I appreciate you all for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.